Jake, what is that? What, did, don't pick it up. It's a wallet. What? Nasty. Is there an ID inside? Yes. Charles C. Taylor. You know him? No. He was born on the 25th of October, 1917, which makes him... 93. I was just about to get it. He's American. There's an aircraft license for an FT-28, whatever that is. What else is in here? It's a dime. So random people and objects just start disappearing, and then all of a sudden we find a wet wallet from the 40s in front of your house. This just doesn't make any sense. I think it's time to do what any person in our age group would do in times of confusion and distress. Right, so what am I searching? Um, start with Charles C. Taylor. Right. Hmm, nothing we don't know. 40s, pilot. What's this? This guy's famous. Famous for what? He disappeared in 1945 as part of a team called Flight 19. He went on a mission into the... The what? Bermuda Triangle. Really? The Bermuda Triangle? Yeah, heard of it. Uh, vaguely. Um, you know, it's off the coast of Florida, something about missing ships and planes and stuff. Well, it looks like it was one of them. Listen to this. Charles Carroll Taylor was a United States Navy Lieutenant, leader of the ill-fated Flight 19, which disappeared into the Bermuda Triangle Letter Trace on December 5th, 1945. All subsequent efforts to find the missing fleet of five planes of 14 crew members were also ill-fated as the BUNO 59225 planes sent out to search for the planes were never heard from again. The exact circumstances surrounding the disappearance remain a mystery, although many attribute the phenomena to several theories that surround the Bermuda Triangle. Look, the serial number in the wallet matches the plane number. A team of five TBM Avengers, it said. And look, FT-28, it's right there. Charles Carroll Taylor. And we have his wallet. We can't have his wallet. He probably had it on him when he disappeared over the Atlantic Ocean. What would Mulder do? Well, he wouldn't keep on trying to scully me. I'm not trying to scully you. Yes, you are. Mulder's usually right. I'm just saying this doesn't make sense. Well, just picture this, okay? It's the only way it does make sense. Well, we know the Bermuda Triangle has been a source of, you know, mystery and interest for most of the 20th century, right? Right. Well, what if some of those theories were right? What if just one of them was right? I know some of them mentioned something about alternate dimensions. Alternate dimensions? Yes. Yeah, Mulder can be wrong sometimes. Did you not see Season 6, Episode 3, Triangle? Yes, yes I did. Look, just try to think like Mulder for a second, alright? What if the Bermuda Triangle is like a gateway to an alternate or a parallel dimension, and anyone that ventured into this gateway they disappeared into said dimension. What does that have to do with what's happening to us? We found the wallet of a guy who disappeared 60 years ago on your front porch. And it was soggy, but like it was still in good condition. It looks like it's only been a year or two since it was underwater. What are you saying? I'm saying, what if the Bermuda Triangle, or this gateway, it's expanding or it's growing over the rest of the world. And so more and more objects are disappearing into this other dimension. And whilst doing so, it's spitting out stuff it's had for half a century. I bet you any amount of money that more stuff, parts of planes, ships, helmets, ID, have been appearing all over the rest of the world. And things are getting sucked up too. This isn't the X-Files. This is real life. I'm not Mulder and neither are you. Well then where did everybody go? 
Where'd the computer screen go? Where's all the phones? Where's your keys? I don't know, but there has to be a rational explanation to all this. Look, we've got to find an answer, but we're not going to theorize. Huh? What's the matter? I mean the burn room. 